Good afternoon. Uh, I wanted to make this video um, as a reference um, for anyone that has questions on how a mica band or mica strip heater is made. Uh, it seems I get this question a lot, so I thought it would make sense to, to do a video. If my customers are asking, uh, there's got to be a lot of people out there that may need this information uh, for their own uh, you know, design, engineering, and process needs. Um, and please give us a call, uh, email, uh, with any questions that you might have. Uh, what I'm looking at here in front of us is some mica strip heaters and mica band heaters. Um, mica bands, mica strips, um, you may be looking at this video uh, because you use them or you're questioning whether you should use this style of heater versus a ceramic band or a mineral insulated band um, or you just you googled hey how is a mica band made how is a mica strip heater made and again I get that question often so this video hopefully will answer that question for you uh, mica strip heater is just that it's a strip of material um, it has mica insulation inside of it with a nichrome element and it's made to a certain watt density for your process a uh, strip heater can be bolted onto the process, strapped onto the process, um, could have a pressure plate put on top of it, evenly spaced, um, and then there's like a band heater. A band heater is basically a strip heater that was curved to the cylinder, uh, a pipe outside diameter of a pipe, uh, nozzle, um, transfer line, it could be anything. Uh, resistance elements, electric heaters, all of these, again, are electric heaters, um, are made to heat a process to help product from congealing, to help keep a product molten, to help keep uh, a process warm, uh, to prevent heat losses. Um, with this style of heater, you can use with, um, again, alternating current, direct current, it's an electric element. Um, 120 volt, 240 volt, 480 volt, 600 volt, single phase, three phase, any of them. Um, again, electric heat. These are all mica band and mica strip heaters. Um, most of our products are called just by how they're manufactured, um, what they are. A strip heater is a strip heater. Band heater is a band heater. And then you kind of... Um, basically put the adjective of mica heater, mineral insulated heater, ceramic heater, and it goes on and on based on the insulation properties properties of the heater. So I happen to have a bad heater. Uh, it was sent to us from a customer and the customer asked, why did it burn out? Uh, we do this for free. We'll actually x-ray, we'll take apart, we'll look at a heater. Um, say you're going through a lot of these and you're like, I just keep ordering 25 a month. 10 per month, 100 per, whatever it is, for your process. Instead of continuing to replace these and keep putting it on your machine the exact same way it came in from the original equipment manufacturer, you could ask someone like us to provide a solution for you. Um, the leads are breaking. Um, the heater keeps burning out in the same place. Is it at the lead exit? Is it at the, the center of the heater, on the edges of the heater? Uh, again, we can look at these and provide a solution for you based on your, your process, asking a few questions and looking at the heaters. We can either do it in-house or have you ship the heater back to us and we'll perform this here in our uh, facility. So with this heater that was shipped back to me, we opened it up, we took a look at it, and we found out that the heater uh, was actually an inferior product and was failing um, with the way it was made uh, by the manufacturer. This one was made outside the United States and it was just not made with an excellent quality and we were able to provide uh, a solution to this customer by taking the base metal, folding over, putting a butt fold on the top, allowing it to be properly clamped with some insulation instructions. The customer now is enjoying a heater that is not burning out uh, where he was buying 10 per month. He's not buying any now and he he literally will laugh and tell us, you guys are going to put yourselves out of business by creating such a good product that it's not burning out. Uh, well, we like to help people out. We want to provide a solution. We want our customers to be treated the way that we would wish to be treated ourselves. Again, 
if I have the expertise, we have the knowledge, the ability to make an, a superior product, we'll do that for you. And that's the way we would want to be treated ourselves. So again, how is a mica band or mica distributor made? All of these heaters are made the same way. It's a strip heater or a band heater. That's the name, right? It has mica insulation. So it's called a mica band or mica strip. If it was a ceramic insulation, it'd be a ceramic band. Mineral insulated, it'd be a mineral insulated band. These are mica. Inside these heaters um, is your insulation, your resistance element. There's a base metal that goes against the process. There is a top metal that helps hold everything together. And then you have side folds that go around uh, all four corners, the two sides. Depending on how the process is kneading the heater, will will terminate and will uh, specify how the heater is to be put together. Um, so with the base metal, it's a piece of material um, based on temperature. Is it aluminized steel? Is it stainless steel? Uh, there's a piece of mica. Then there's a piece of mica with the nichrome element wrapped around it. That nichro nichrome element is actually evenly spaced on this one for even watts per square inch linear length wattage per inch and if this was on a seal bar you'd see tighter spacing in here on the ends where we knew it would be losing heat so we would tightly space the nichrome element here loosely space the nichrome element throughout the center of the heater where it will hold its heat better and then loose or tightly space the nichrome on the opposite end so we can distribute the wattage within the heater to help it uh, uh, heat the process properly. Then behind that sheet with the nichrome element will be two additional sheets of mica insulation. This is mica from the earth. And that mica insulation helps hold the heat from escaping out the back of the product and only going towards the front. Again, two sheets in the back, the nichrome element, wrapped around a piece of mica, one sheet of mica here to help it from grounding out, and then the base metal. Top metal goes on, side folds are folded in, and it is tightly put together. Um, you don't want air. This is helping keep it nice and tight for a happy heater. Um, so, mica strip heater is how this is made as a flat product. Then, uh, does the process ask for a round? Uh, clamped onto a pipe, onto a, a feeder line, or just, just a, a strip heater. Um, we'll go ahead and curve it as needed. Um, cylindrically, which is just curved in the length of this heater, or semi-cylindrically, it'd be curved around across the width. So we can do it either way. We can make these with stainless steel top metal based on temperature or we can do it with uh, aluminized steel. Higher temp uh, processes require stainless steel top metal. With the proper questions, we can help choose the right manufacturing of the proper heater that will last long for you. These heaters can be made with square notches, round cutouts, large gaps, anything to fit around pressure transducers, thermocouples, uh, anything that's on your product line. Um, if you're going to open up the heater to put it on, we can make it with notched edges to allow it to fully flex and open up. You can make it as a, a flexible one-piece construction, expandable one-piece construction, or solid construction that is not meant to be opened. Uh, we can do it as a one-piece, two-piece, three-piece, any style construction that you need. All processes are different. No two bands should be made the exact same way. You shouldn't just look through a stock catalog and assume that will work for you. Um, you should call up, talk with an engineer, and go through your process. What is your temperature? What are you manufacturing? What are you currently using? And then we'll kind of space it and uh, engineer it, reverse engineer it, and make sure that it is pro uh, proper for your process needs. Um, any of these heaters, if you look at them all, they have different styles of leads, different lengths of leads, 
um, whether you have moisture that's in the area or high temperature obviously in the area um, we can choose the proper leads for you whether they're fiberglass leads or silicone rubber or teflon leads we can do that for you and then we can put lead protection on there we can put uh, fiberglass insulation stainless steel braid exposed post terminals stainless steel hose if we have the exposed post terminals we can put uh, ceramic terminal covers on there to help protect the workers in the area from the exposed electrical termination you can also put a terminal box on there for you the terminal box will help protect uh, voltage from getting to the workers if there are people nearby um, we can do convoluted armor if there is moisture in the area the convoluted armor is actually sealed 100 percent um, water can be dripping on this get around this it's not going to penetrate to get to the leads um, so with all these styles of heaters we can do 120 volt 240 volt 480 volt 600 volt single phase three phase ac dc any kind of current um, all these heaters are conductive style heaters conductive means heat transfer uh, by touching um, all of these heaters are to be strapped on bolted on and tightly put onto the product process they need to get the heat away from that nichrome element that's inside the heater to get that heat away means your process is getting the getting warm your heater is not overheating um, thank you for watching the video we can have additional videos and tutoring sessions for you for how to properly sense and control a heater in a process. Uh, that would be for another video and another time. But again, thank you for uh, watching this video. If you have any questions or found it useful, please let us know. You can contact us at sales at ptsheat.com. That's PTS as in Phoenix thermal supply the word heat.com sales at ptsheat.com you can also call 1-844-787-4328 thanks again hope you enjoyed it have a great day